This is the new version of the toilet nightlight. And it's got less components and no switch, but a battery holder, a tilt switch, and then just a resistor, an LED, and some wires and stuff. This is the simple schematic. And this is doing some testing on a little breadboard. So we can see that we can tilt it and it turns off and on, just like what we want for the toilet to do. Now this time, because no one likes a bunch of electrical tape on the toilet seat, I 3D printed a little clampy dealy. And it's got a little hole for us to glue the tilt switch into. And then we'll put some like rubber or something inside of it to help it grip. And you can see we can tilt it up and down. And let's make this thing. We can look at a bunch of wires we just soldered together. And we use two kinds of wire. Some solid wire and some strand of wire. So that they can bend as the lid goes up and down. And then we test their sensor. Now we can start gluing it all together. This is our toilet nightlight V2. It's a clip, some bike tire tube for grippiness. Batteries attached to the clip. Sensor goes on the hole, no circuit board, just dangly LED. So a new version, don't say like this, it's off. You can lift it up like this, it's on. Alright, now it's clipped onto the toilet, the wire thing out, but we can fix that later. And maybe even paint it white. But we can see when the lid goes off, the light turns on, and when it's down, it goes off. And the light doesn't really move, it stays on the lid. See, and now we can pee in the dark without turning the lights on. So there's no more scary night pees where you might be going in a trash can or something accidentally. <laughs>